people of God, people of God, I just finished eating with my elders. They actually live a, about an hour and a half from the city. They're only in my city because they said that they are um, they were coming to shop. And so they stopped to get something healthy. They saw me sitting out and then they wanted to eat with me. But it's been a blessing. They said that I was a blessing to them. <laughs> they said they learned a lot from talking to me, but I learned a lot from talking to them. They, It was divine. They spoke and encouraged my spirit. They spoke to my spirit. My elders, they're retired um, women, and they're just living like one of them. She loves to travel, and uh, they were just encouraging me, and, you know, we, were just, we just had a great, wholesome talk. And, you know, going back to what I was saying earlier, not giving things, a lot of what we were talking about goes into what I, what else I wanted to add before I cut the video. Because um, <clears throat> one of my sisters, my big sister's, um, who's a supervisor on a job she was saying last week, you know, having a pure heart has been her downfall. And I said, you know what, sister, it ain't really a downfall. I said, it's a blessing, but I get where you're coming from because a lot of times people think they can take advantage of you when they think you, when you, when you're a nice person and they think you got such a good heart, they think you boo-boo the fool. And maybe we were boo-boo the fool for a while at one point. But what, what came to my spirit to tell her last week is what I was going to share, you know, and the, you know the Bible says in the last days people's love will wax cold, and it's already happening. People's love is already waxing cold, right? We're in the last days, and what's happening now is many of us with pure hearts, we have been allowed to encounter people, to spend time in some people's lives, to cross some people's paths, and so when our time was up, or when they mishandled us, they misused, abused, mistreated us, tried to destroy us and it was time for us to move on, our assignment was completed. And so those seeds that were sown, those people are looking back and realizing now they came in contact with the pure soul. Many are realizing just how dark, how much darkness is attached to their own soul, how much darkness is on the inside of them because they came into somebody who was pure, you know? And there's nothing for us to feel bad about like it's something wrong with us no that's what sets us apart we are the light and going into adding what compliments what I'm that what I wanted to share is adding to what my elders was just telling me you know when you are different and when you really walk really really walk with Christ for real she said a lot of people they have truth but they don't have application they don't have wisdom and see, wisdom is our sister. And all that getting, we're supposed to get wisdom. And the, and, and then we, she said they have the truth, which is the word of God. She said they can quote you scripture, but they can't tell you how to apply the scriptures. Or they're not walking in the scriptures. So therefore, you don't see, you don't feel nothing inside of them. You don't feel the power of God in them. You don't see anything. And then, and then so as she was saying that, and I said, yeah, that's true. Because me, I was adding to what she was saying. You know, because we're supposed to serve him in spirit and in truth. And you have a lot of people. Those are the people who will come in my comment section. Those are the people who will watch me from afar and try to sow seeds of discord. And, you know, they don't, they, or they, they try to come so hard. Oh, why are you doing this? Oh, why are you saying this when the J wasn't invented into this? Blah, blah, blah. All this other nonsense. Because they're walking in truth, but they ain't got the spirit. And not just that. It's just so many other things as well. You know, you have a lot of people who are just superficial and when they come across what's genuine what's authentic um my sister was like my basic said they try to tear that down she said but you continue to do what you do and use the word of god you know use uh, every time somebody come and oppose you 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 use the word of god and that go it was just a lot of confirmations that were said and these are ladies who they just met me today as i pulled up here i got my food and i sat out and I started recording the video before I started eating. And these sisters just walked up from behind. One walked on this side, one walked on that side. And they asked me about my dish and it went from there. It was divine, divine connection. And this is what I'm talking about, people, God. These are the things that has happened over the course of my life, throughout the course of my life, because I've always been like a sojourner. You know, I've always, oh, sojourner. <laughs> Call me modern day sojourner. <laughs> but, you know, I've always been by myself never really had that nobody to pour into me but every now and then god will put earth angels on my path people that will pour into me and that was just about to have me a pleasant meal out here i had my ac running in the car because i didn't want to leave daniel and my team home they like being out and sightseeing it's pretty much a cool day but for them to sit in the car i just had some the two of the windows up 
and I let the back window stay down so the AC was blowing and they could look out if they wanted to. And I'm sitting where I was sitting is, is right across from the car. So, you know, I was out here and, um, you know, so <clears throat> just this connection was really a divine connection and it worked, it worked both ways. You know, it was a reciprocation. And I just thank God for these two beautiful souls, my big sisters, mothers, you know, um, that just, it just, words can't describe. It was priceless. This connection, this interaction, you know, was priceless. And like, they also confirmed what my dentist said. You know, they also believe the same thing. Technology is dehumanizing a lot of us. We need conversation. We need to talk to each other. We need to be around each other, you know. But, <clears throat> you know, going back to having just a pure heart and, and applying the word of God to our lives, when you got the word of God in you, you know, because God is his word. So having the word in you means that spirit of God is in you. You know, everybody come in the name of God. That don't mean they have the word of God in you, in them. And when you got that spirit of God in you, it could be somebody who got the title of a bishop. They can have the title of a pastor. They can have these titles, but those titles are not fruit. Those titles are not fruit. They can manage several different churches. They can manage large congregations. Those are not fruit. You know, they can have millions of billions of dollars. That is not fruit. They can have hundreds and thousands of subscribers. That is not fruit. They can, their pictures can be on all the magazines, several different major magazines. They can be on TV shows. That is not fruit. We went over in the video understanding what the fruits of the spirit really are. And so you see some people, they have accomplishments. You know, they have things that they have involved themselves in. And some people, they carry, they base their value based on their accomplishments or based on how much money they have. That's why when you ask some people, who are you? They will tell you, oh, I do this. I'm a this. I'm a that. I'm a that. I'm a that. They, they name these things. So that's how they define themselves, you know, based on these things. And when you have somebody who walking in their pure, genuine authenticity, and just an innocent soul making mistakes as you go, but just learning from your mistakes, growing, really studying the word. You ain't trying to, you know, sell yourself in no kind of way. You just doing things the right way, the honest way, as best you know. Oh, she didn't release chemical warfare. <laughs> Who said that? I read your comment. You told me she released chemical warfare. Y'all heard her. She just passed gas in here. Chemical warfare. <laughs> I bet not smell it, my day. The windows is down, so hopefully I don't even smell it. But, you know, you, you're going to offend a lot of people um, and not trying to offend. A lot of people, to let, like my elder said again, <laughs> she said, baby, she said, you're going to have a lot of people who don't even know you. You have people who don't even know you. They won't like you because what's on the in, is what's on the inside of you is stir, stirring up conflict. You know, what's on the inside of you is, 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 is causing, it's like it's holding up a mirror to people. People are be, that thing that anybody that got unclean spirits, you know, unpure motives. When you come across them, what's on the inside of you triggers that thing. It triggers those demons. It triggers those forces. You know, somebody can be well accomplished and, and look like they're well put together outwardly. And then little old you, they can come and watch you. And they want to, they always want to steal from knowledge. They always want to steal and draw from where that true spring is, where that true knowledge, that, that true, um, how can I say it, the true spirit of the Lord is, but they're not going to come in agreement with you. They would try to bait you in the conflict or find things wrong about you to make you feel like you're unworthy because they know that deep down inside, you're better than them, you know, and, and you ain't trying to be better than them. So that's when you have people doing all these different things on outwardly. You know, trying to secret compete with you. But you know what, people got? It's nothing. It's no curse. It's a blessing to have a pure heart. Even with all that people do. It's a blessing to have a pure heart. It's a blessing to be set apart. It's a blessing to recognize what you carry. And then you realize that life is not truly happening to you. It's happening, like Dr. Sinatra Trim said, because of you. Because of what we carry. And I like to also say life is not happening to us. It's happening for us. Why? Because even with all that opposition, even with all the hating and the evil that people do, even with all the things that people think they can take advantage of your kindness for weakness, 
all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord. And sometimes when people think they're knocking you down, they're really helping you elevate because they're teaching you how to strategically engage in warfare that you never even planned on engaging in. And as your resilience gets stronger and stronger and you learn to move around them, when you successfully move around a hater, move around somebody who's been trying to block you, or move around somebody who's trying to secretly, subliminally, kick you down or, or sow seeds of discord around you when you move around them gracefully and successfully they have become your footstool baby so they made you better they made you better mm -hmm. yeah what well, don't kill you only make you stronger and when they go behind and if they think that they can use their money and do things to try to learn things about you investigate things about you or try to plant pay people to come against you all that will come right back to them all that will backfire right back on them. Don't even worry about that. Stay in the word of God and keep moving. Keep being a good person. Keep loving. Don't let evil people make you think it's a curse that your heart is pure, that you're empathetic, that you can feel. And don't let nobody make you wrong, feel bad for feeling. You have a right to feel. You have a right to process what it is that you are experiencing and if somebody that you're involved with or connected to you, they don't want to allow themselves to be held accountable. They don't want to listen to you. Oftentimes, because people know when they don't mean you know well, they're not going to want to listen to you. They're not going to want to hear you if there's somebody who's actively involved in your life. You see what I'm saying? But anyway, I feel like I'm going all over the place and I'm not really sticking to one thing. Um, we just finished having lunch. I'm going to go someplace and I'm going to go to my favorite spot and get me an ice cream with custard i'm gonna to go to my favorite spot and get me a custard they like custard too and then we're gonna go home for the remainder of the day today's been so beautiful but um yeah i hope this message wasn't confusing maybe i was just blabbering um i don't really know what this title is keep having a pure heart is not a curse having a pure heart is a blessing not a curse that's what i'm gonna title this and you like my shirt learn me or leave me learn me or leave me baby let them leave if they don't want to learn you let them go that my grandma used to say can't miss where you can't measure honey <laughs> people say oh you would never have nothing like me i ain't want nothing else like you i ain't want nobody connected to me like you see mm -mm, no you're going to attract the right people and it's on divine timing god timing just like how these angels showed up and tapped on my shoulder and just one they were so pure gentle so my elders that's a blessing I told him, I said, I, I admire y'all. They're friends. Yep, they're friends. Good people still exist in this world. But keep being good on purpose. Have a blessed day. If nobody told you that they love you today, your little country bunkin sister is telling you, I love you. It's only one of you in this whole wide world. Keep your light shining bright. It's needed. <clears throat> we on a winning team, baby, with God. There is light versus darkness in this world. And everywhere you go, that light is, is, is activated. It, it shines on any type of darkness. If somebody could be the somebody can be a teacher, a head leader of some type of big organization, and they could be teaching other people. They could be mentoring other people. And you can come along and you can see an area of darkness in that head leader that nobody else was able to see. And you ain't even got to say nothing. Your light can make them feel uncomfortable and you will see them secretly throwing darts at you you'll be like wait a minute now they the, they the teacher they the head mentor they helping all these other people they coaching all these other people they doing all this stuff for all these other people what is it about me that they got to study take darts and throw darts and secret in me what is it about me it's what's inside of you it's what's inside of you and the people don't even know you that confirms that should confirm that you're on the right track that should confirm that you're on the right track when your light activate that darkness in people. And it's going to be like that until our Savior comes back and the totality of the scripture gets fulfilled, baby. So you might as well keep building your spiritual muscles by studying the word of God. Keep yourself covered in prayer. Know that no weapon formed against you shall prosper and keep growing in the right direction. It only gets better. We on the winning team, baby. If God be for you, who can be against you? Read them, boy, what Maccabees is six and seven. <laughs> oh, glory, Elohim. Yahuwah is so great. Oh, I love him. The people just prayed to him. 
and they were coming against God's people, they ended up having to praise God's people. He changed their hearts. When a man's ways is pleasing to God, he will make even his enemies at peace with him. Have a best day, people of God. I'm getting sleepy sitting here. Just keep talking. But we're going to go on over to my favorite spot to get us some. We're going to get us some custard. They always give them pup cups. And they be waiting on that boy. She used to bark at my tail. used to bark at everybody when we pulled to the window. When we go to this spot, she be so quiet. And they be like, you want pup cups? And they be like, she be looking till they get them pup cups. We're going to get us some custard. And we taking it to the his house. Today was a beautiful, blessed day. I'm going home. Take a nap. When I get home, I probably don't even feel it. I still ain't put my solar panels together. I got to put them solar panels together. But, um... By the time I get home, sometimes I don't feel like, I don't be feeling sleepy or nappy anymore. But um, I'm going to take a nap and then I'll be up late, baby. Get up and read me, read some more of the word. And then I'll put those solar panels together. I got, I'm wondering if two solar panels, two, they were 100 watt solar panels. I know I bought an extra one, but I don't know if two panels came in one box because one box is thicker. So I might have a 300 watt. 300 watts of solar power which is a good thing but uh they've been in the box for so long and i want to get a lot of stuff organized and cleaned up before this winter really comes in we don't really have much of a hard winter here in the south but before it gets too cold but I'll, i might get up in the midnight and put those together tonight but anyway y'all have a blessed night i love you right your pure heart Having a pure heart is not a curse. It's actually a blessing. It's what sets us apart. Those of you who are empath, you are divinely connected to our Father. There's nothing wrong with you. People took advantage of you. They took your kindness for weakness. They thought they could use you, play you, laugh at you, misuse you. And see, now the way the world is going, people are looking for love. See, there's going to be a lot of people flocking to our little tribe, tribe of love. There's going to be a lot of people flocking because people is dealing with things. You know, we're not fixers. We're just normal human beings shining our light, loving on people. We're doing our internal work. Many of you, we, we've gone through things, you know. But, you know, just as well as it's good, you got to keep your eyes out for the evil that will come and show its weary head, too. But we're going to get it together. I ain't had time to go into everybody's email, but we're going to organize ourselves and we're going to start putting something together. Once we get it together, I would like us to do it at least every year. And I know some people, many of us are spread out in different cities. So I'm not opposed to, you know, we can travel, you know, to different cities. I don't want to go too far because y'all know I got babies. I got children. I got animal children. I don't want to leave my chickens too long. You know, I don't want to go too far. So, uh, but, you know, we could plan something in Georgia. We can do it in North Carolina. You know, we could do something in South Carolina. Every year, I want us to get it together. But so those of you who, if you haven't emailed me yet, email me your thoughts of how we can kind of just initially come together to discuss what we can do and also how we can kind of weed out um, all of the negativity. Because, you know, whenever we try to do good, you have evil that comes to try to spy and poke its evil head. But maybe they may get saved. Who knows? But um, if you haven't emailed me yet, still email me your ideas and then we'll organize something maybe a large um zoom meeting or something so we can, everybody can see everybody's faces and then from that maybe we can go from there to you know another group and then um continue to put our ideas together of how we want to do our thing right have a blessed day i love you